Hey y'all, I'm Shay and I want to talk about a problem that you all might be having which is using worsted weight yarn on your circular knitting machine, especially say the Addy King Size or maybe even the Michaels Loops and Threads machines. And these machines tend to have a problem using worsted weight yarn. And what happens a lot of times with this yarn is so the yarn isn't properly catching with the pins or the pin will not be able to, to grab it and it slips off and now you have a drop stitch. What I wanna do is provide you a really great technique that I use that allows me to be able to use my worsted weight yarn on my Addy King Size. Now it is a lot more cumbersome and you know it takes a little more effort with your other hand to use the machine instead of having one hand free typically and you just use the one hand to crank now you got to use both hands and it even works on the loops and threads that i had done a review about before and that's a link in the description below so what did i do i went ahead and got these clips i actually got from the threads and loops machine um, these are just simple clips which are really great for grasping the yarn and holding on to them they have these little tiny tiny teeth that don't uh, shred the yarn but they definitely help ensure that they stay on the yarn so just clip that evenly around near the top of your project close to your pins and then what you'll do is as you go around you're going to apply pressure you're going to hold on to the clip as it goes past and near your first pin here in this area and you're going to just apply pressure down that way your um, yarn will stay on the pins and that's where it's commonly undone right here let me here or maybe here where it doesn't properly pull down on the pin or over here it's gonna you'll start seeing uh it's gonna have double looped there and so when you go around you just like you apply pressure downwards here and as you go around you catch the next one and apply the same amount of pressure downward so that as you apply the pressure downward, what it does is it helps pull the yarn down the pin here, it keeps it on the red part of your pins, and then it can just more evenly and accurately stay on your pins, and it helps prevent tucked and dropped stitches. Because that's the reason why a lot of times you'll find um, tucked and dropped stitches here, is because for some reason the yarn is thick, it, it sticks together because maybe it's a coarser type of yarn and it just doesn't properly either slide down on the pin in the front here or it doesn't stay onto these red pins here where the pin needs the yarn to drop down is right here and by applying that pressure you help drop that yarn down onto the pin properly onto the red portions right here so then it can properly go through the machine thread move through the machine so when you apply pressure it helps the yarn downward onto the pin here and then be able to properly sit on top of the red portions of the pin like that. So as I go around I'm just simply putting pressure to each pin and this yarn is only slightly problematic so I can go fairly fast as long as I apply that little bit of pressure downward and it catches the yarn pretty easily. And now you'll notice that the clips are a bit low. So what I do is as I go around, I just start moving them back up. So they're about this distance away from the top. And I go around and I just do that with each of the clips that are about evenly spaced around for the four of them. Now the Michaels loops and threads machine did come with five clips, but I found five was just too cumbersome to manage. So it's easier for me to just use four as I go around. I felt four was able to easily uh, apply the amount, same amount of pressure all the way around the machine here without having to add that fifth clip. So I just go around and I catch each clip, apply, apply even amount of pressure downward for each clip and that really has helped me be able to use yarn and not have, use worsted weight yarn and not have drop or tuck stitches. It's really been helpful and that's a trick. I think you should all use if you want to use your horse to weight yarn and your Addy Express king size machine. Now I did test this out on the Michaels loops and threads as well and lo and behold it also worked really well that way and I was able to use horse to weight yarn on the loops and threads machine. Now, if you don't want to do this just use DK weight or three weight yarn or light yarn instead and then you won't have to do this because the Addy does really well with three weight yarn because it's thinner and it just seems to fit the pins. It's like this machine was really more designed for that thinner weight yarn versus this worsted weight. Certainly not bulky weight, but three or smaller, your yarn's gonna work really well on this machine. You won't have to use this cumbersome method at all. 
But I do it because I have a lot of worsted weight yarn that I like to use, and I want to use it for the different blankets and stuff that I'm making, and so that's why I think it's worth it to me. I hope you enjoyed using the method of the clips in order to hold down your worsted weight yarn so that you can use it on your Addy Express King Size machine. It really works well for me so that I can use a variety of yarn that, you know, like Red Heart Classic or Super Saver or even the Karen One Pounder, even though that still is a lot more problematic. And I think the reason why is because Karen One Pounder is a little bit thicker of a worsted weight yarn than, say, Red Heart Super Saver. Now, when I use any sort of, like I mentioned before, DK weight or size three yarn, it works like magic on my machine and I don't have to use this method. I have a lot of worsted weight yarn and I have a lot of projects I wanna make with worsted weight yarn. So for me, it's worth it, even though it can be a bit cumbersome and a little extra work on your left hand having to hold down those clips. 